and welcome back to Belle's Ideas. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I put together this topiary that I saw at Pier 1. They had it for either $40 or $50, and I thought it was way overpriced, and I thought I could make it myself, which I did. I did make a few changes, and there's going to be a picture popping up here shortly for you guys uh, to compare. I took a picture at the store, and you can compare and see the changes that I made. I wanted to make a few small changes only because spring is coming up, Easter's coming up, and I thought it turned out really cute and it did not cost $40 or $50. The items that I used are um, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and this I think I bought at Home Goods. So I'll take you step by step on how I made this and let's get started so you can see what it is. I did is I bought this hanging box at Hobby Lobby for $3.99 and they were 40% off and I also bought this um, stick but I went ahead and I cut it this was $1.69 and we're also going to need <clears throat> excuse me some wood glue and brown paint as well as white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I wanna make this look uh, distressed. So I'll put some brown paint first and then I'll go ahead and I'll add the white and then sand it down a little bit to kind of give it that distressed look. Got this at Hobby Lobby for $1.99 and they were 40% off. And what I was gonna do is fill this with boxwood but I uh, figured out a better way and cheaper because it was going to be a little bit more expensive if I bought several branches of the boxwood. So what I had already was this topiary. And all I did, I hope you guys can see it. All I did is I took it apart as so. It opens up like this. And it's going to save me money and time. So all I am going to do is attach or simply place the topiary on top of this wired uh, wreath here and then what I'm going to do is I am going to put this stick and I'm going to glue it on here all the way at the bottom I'm going to put some uh, Elmer's glue and then leave it overnight so that it glues properly and then I'm going to place the topiary on the top the glue and I use this clamp just to leave it overnight so that it dries well and then I will continue on the project tomorrow but I just wanted to show you what I have done I have simply placed the stick in here with some wood glue and the clamp to keep it in place and we will continue on this tomorrow once it dries really well Okay, so I have let this dry, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take a little piece of the sandpaper. Well, now I'm going to attach the top part. I'm just gonna cut me, cut the big, a big piece of it. See how much I'm gonna need.
Now we do want to leave a little bit of a, because um, we're going to, you're going to be hanging this unless you want it to stand up. But um, the one that I saw at Pier 1 had a little, like a little hook. That's so. Just a little ring too, um, so that you're able to hang it on the wall if you'd like. Or you can also stand it up. This is so that you're able to hang it up if you decide to hang it up. This is how I fire at Pier 1. So I'm just trying to make it exactly as how I saw it. Now I'm going to put a little bit of styrofoam down in here with a little bit of moss. show you I purchased these at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to add something to this arrangement that made it feel you know like Easter or spring and so I had these eggs that I went ahead and what I did is I basically just cut the little string that's on the bottom let me move all of this so you all can see I cut that off and then I put a little bit of glue at the tip. Be very careful because I did burn myself a couple of times. And I just wrapped the twine around the egg. Now you can leave it this the same color that it comes in. But I want it to change the color um, and just keep it all pretty much um, these brown earth colors so it's up to you if you guys want to keep this color or wrap it like I did and that's basically all I did is just wrap the twine all around and then I did st stop a little bit in the middle and then put a, a few drops of uh, or a little bit of glue just to make sure the twine doesn't come apart as so and there's the egg now I also wanted to add a little bow this is the color that that I chose and so I all I'm gonna do is just well first I have to glue the eggs on here tried to simply glue this onto the little uh, base of this which is wood and I used the hot glue and it didn't work it came right off and also I used uh, Elmer's glue and super glue nothing worked so what I decided to do is simply just place the word spring over and then I just, I traced it. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to paint this. I think I'm gonna do like a, like a, this same color as the stick here, which is a chocolate brown. That way it, it really pops and you all can see it. So 